is Tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut and welcome to the new Wix tutorial series. This is a series of short videos where I take you through basic and simple functions of how to build a website using Wix. Um, the first thing we're going to take a look at is adding and adjusting different page sections. Now I have a art of food photography website here. It's quite a simple website. There's a home page and if you click on menus and pages you can see there's a collection of other pages here. A portfolio entrance page page where you can just click around through to the different sections an about page which is quite simple um, some gallery pages which just are large galleries of different images and a books page there's a blog and contact as well but they're fairly simple what we're going to look at today is how to add new content blocks known as strips to your website um, and then learn how to navigate them to the menu and then we're going to go through other things like adjusting the style and look of those um, positioning of those strips as well so I'm just going to go to the books page here which I've already done and what would be nice to have on this page would be a testimonial of some kind you can see that you have a chance here to buy all sorts of different books and it would be nice at the bottom if we could have some quotes or reviews of that different section. So you'd notice when I hover over these sections um, a small icon up here comes up labeled strip and it sort of highlights that section in blue. You can kind of see if I roll off and on it that it highlights with a thin blue line each section. That is the entire contents of the strip. If we scroll to the bottom of the page we can add a new strip which could be our testimonial strip. So we can hit add on here this will open up our um, window here and we can go down to uh, strips. When you're inside the strips menu, you can just click and it will add it at the bottom of your page or you can click and drag. Now I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and I'm going to choose this testimonial st uh, strip here because I think the style of it already fits quite nicely with the website. So if I click and drag that, you can see that I can start to pop this above or below my last content block. If I pop it below, it will literally just drop that entire um, testimonial strip onto the page and you can see that it will show us exactly where that strip is, which is lovely. Now, we'd like a quick way, perhaps, to navigate towards this strip of content. Uh, and we can do that by adding a link and an anchor point um, to this area of content via our menu bar at the top here. The first thing you're going to want to do is add the anchor because you can't link to it unless you've already created that link. So just by going up to the add menu again, but this time scrolling all the way down to more, I'm going to choose an anchor tag. Now this isn't a physical element that appears on your page, it is simply an invisible link to this particular portion of the page. So I can just drop that down there, making sure it snaps to the top of my testimonials block, and you'll see that we have an anchor called Anchor1. We can rename this to Testimonials. Now, that anchor is there, but we haven't linked to it yet. All we need to do to do that is to create an, a link inside of our menu. So I'm going to select our menu here, like so, and I'm going to choose Manage Menu. With the Books um, page selected, so I'm going to add something after that Books um, link, I'm going to choose Add a Link from the menu down here, and I'm going to choose Anchor, which is already on. Now, because I've only got one anchor so far, it's already chosen the correct anchor. But if it hadn't, you could click the drop down menu and choose that. When you hit done, you'll notice that a new link appears in your menu. You have to name this. So again, testimonials and hit done. Now, if you notice when we preview the website, if I were on the home page, for example, and I clicked testimonials, it would navigate precisely to that portion of the page where the testimonials is. If we click books, it will just scroll to the top of the current page because that's the same page as the testimonials. When we click again, it goes back down. And that's really all there is to it when you're adding a page section. Of course, inside that page section, you can then continue to edit and amend to your heart's content. Next up, we're going to take a look at how to change the spacing between page sections. What we're going to do is, if you look up here, you'll notice that between each of these sections here, each of these individual books, there is a small portion of white space. Okay. Uh, in fact, there's only a portion of white space on this top one here. There isn't between the second strip or between our testimonials. Now, we may want to increase that space or remove it entirely, but uniformity tends to be better um, than 
changes. You want things to look uh, uniform, consistent. So to do that, it's very simple. All you need to do is change the main blocks of your page. And to do that, you need to take a step back. If you go to the top of your um, window here, you can see there's a zoom out and reorder button. Selecting this will zoom out your page and allow you to reorder it. Uh, however, all we want to do for now is just decrease or increase the spaces between our strips. You'll notice that if I hover over a strip, there is a um, series of dots which look like a grab handle. If you take this, you can simply click and drag to increase or decrease the space between sections or strips. So for example, I can open this up a little bit if I want it, the strips to have a little bit more padding, which I think I do. And I can do the same for our testimonial section here. And that just gives each of these sections a little bit of breathing space. And in terms of changing the distance between strips, that is it. Go back to your website and you'll notice there are now gaps in between each section. Perfect. However, we've just had some terrible news that one of these books is no longer for sale and we want to remove that section from our website. To do so, you'll need to be in the zoomed out menu. So you can go back up here to zoom out and reorder. And unfortunately, our holiday season special book is no longer for sale. You can select this section with this left click and just click the delete section icon and that will remove it entirely from your website. Now let's pretend that we've had some feedback from our editor or boss and they've decided they want a more seamless look to our website and they don't like these gaps in between our sections here. Now we could go through and manually remove each of these by clicking and dragging as we did before, but a simpler way is to just delete those sections entirely. If you select the zoom out and reorder icon again to zoom out your page, you'll notice that if you hover over the gap, Rather than clicking and dragging the handle, you'll notice towards the right hand side of the screen, a small delete space icon. As long as you're hovered over that, you can then just click delete space and that will remove any white space from your website. Now let's say we've had a message from our editor and they want us to bump the sales of the sugar and spice book over the breakfast book. To do this, they want the sugar and spice section at the top of the page. Now reordering your page sections is very simple. Again, you need to go to the zoom out menu. And this one's quite obvious because it's called zoom out and reorder. Once you select that, it's simply a case of clicking and dragging until you reorder your sections around. Perhaps you'd even want the testimonials at the very top to show how important and how great our books are. Um, you can just click and drag and move these around to your heart's content. And when you're done, just choose exit, zoom out, and your page will be reordered. So that's it for this video talking about page sections in Wix. We have gone through adding page sections, changing the spacing between them, uh, deleting or removing page sections, removing gaps, and reordering those different sections as well. Armed with this knowledge, you should be able to get a general consensus of how to create and manage uh, different sections or strips on your Wix website. Thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I'll see you all next time on TipTap. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.